Yo, what's going on? It's Reputate, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the best ways to boost FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite as of 2021 with some simple and easy steps. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. For this first step, start out by clicking the Windows key on your keyboard and type in Graphics Settings. And once you do that, this little thing will pop up right here. Click on this. And now when this window pops up, make sure this is set on desktop app and then click on browse right below it. And once you do that, when this file window pops up, come down and click on your local disk C drive and now follow me closely. Go and double click on program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and this window will pop up here. You'll see four different things with the Fortnite icon. Click on the top one in this list, Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. You'll know it's the right one because out of all these, it has the highest KB number, and it's the one without all the BE and EAC weird letters at the end. Again, top one in this list. Click on this, and then click on Add. Now, once you do that, it will pop up right here, Fortnite, go and click on it, click on options, and then click on high performance and save it. This will optimize your game's graphics settings strictly perf for performance, which will help with both FPS and input delay. And for this to take effect, you will need to restart your PC. For this next step, I'm going to show you how to download a program called Timer Resolution, which greatly reduces input delay in your system and is widely used by many people as well as a lot of pros as well. So what you're going to want to do is open your browser and I put a link in the description for a, the Timer Resolution download. Click on that link and it'll bring you to this page right here. Now once you'll see, you'll see Timer Resolution by Lucas Hill. and scroll down follow me closely here scroll down all the way until you see download time and resolution dot zip version 1.2 this one right here now i know it only says windows 7 but i promise it works for windows 10 this is the one that people use so click on download and it'll bring up this right here save the file and then drag it to your desktop and as you'll see it's a zip package Right click on the time of resolution and go all the way down to extract here, which will extract it on your desktop. The only reason why it's not doing it for me is because I already have time of resolution right there. But once you do that, it'll extract it on your desktop and put it here. Now, before it's ready to operate, just right click on it, go down to properties, then go to compatibility click on run this program in compatibility mode for check that box and click on Windows Vista and then also make sure the run this program as administrator box is checked as well and then click apply now once you do that double click on it click on yes and then once it opens here all you got to do is click on maximum and you'll see this number change right here and then do not click exit make sure you click minimize this has to be running in the background for it to work now once you do that and that's running in the background open up your game try free building and just doing something and immediately everything should feel a lot faster and quicker this does really help reduce input delay it reduces your windows clock by like half the time you may even notice that using this program helps boost your FPS a bit as well. Now I'm going to show you the best in-game settings for FPS and input delay. First off, make sure your game is set in full screen and that your frame rate limit is one or two ticks above the refresh rate of your monitor. This will help accommodate for any kind of FPS stutters. Now when you scroll down, you notice a lot of these options are grayed out for me. This is because my rendering mode is set on the somewhat newer mode, performance mode. If you were using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 and want more FPS and less input delay, use this new mode. As you see reading about it right here, it's specifically designed to help with performance. So set it on this and then it'll gray out all these and you're only left with a few options. 
now put your view distance on near, your textures on low, your V-Sync off, you can keep your show FPS on. Now once you go and apply performance mode, you're gonna have to restart your game for this to take effect. And once you do that, you'll notice a big boost in performance. First, for this step, make sure you have Fortnite running and open like I do here. And once you have it open, click on the Windows key and type in Task Manager. And you'll see it right here, click on it. And if you have Fortnite running, you'll see it right here under your apps. And right click on it, and then click Go to Details. Now by default it'll have this highlighted when you click that. Scroll down to it and right click on the one that's highlighted. And then go to this thing that says set priority. Now it'll be set on normal for you guys but you're going to want to do is go and click on high. Now when you do this it'll immediately set your game running above all other things going on your computer which will result in better FPS and input delay. The only problem with the method I just showed you right here is that you have to do it every single time you start up your game, which can be a bit of a pain, and also some of you will get an access denied pop-up when you do this. To fix both of those issues, I linked a video in the description that I found on how to every time you start up your game, it'll always be running at high priority, and it'll also get past that access denied pop-up that some of you get. This is really nice because every time you start up your game, by default, it will boot up in high priority. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please drop a like if any of these tips helped you and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I try and keep all my videos right to the point and simple as can be and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.